Hello subscribers and YouTube watchers, what's up? This is Vips from SlideNerd over here. In this video, I'm going to talk about padding versus margin in Android. Now if you guys are from a web development background, you probably know these words very well, but otherwise, you have to see this video, right? So first we have two attributes, Android layout margin and Android padding. If you guys have seen my previous videos, I have used these values inside my calculator app and you were probably not clear about what I did back then. Let me show you what exactly happens with the power padding and the margin. So here I have two examples. You guys can see some difference between both of them. The code for the left one looks something like this. There's a relative layout and for the, there's a text view inside that. And here's a layout margin of 50 dp. And on the right side, I have this uh, image over here and the code for that looks something like this for the same text view for the same relative layout I have an Android padding of 50 dp. So what is the difference? You guys can notice that it's pretty simple, right? You have the space outside the text view over here in, in form of these four arrows and Here you have the space inside the text view from within the boundaries of the text view, right? That is the content that is the text hello world and the boundaries of the text view this rectangle which you see there's a space between them and that's what padding is so here space outside the view between itself and its container is called the margin and here space inside the view between the boundaries and its content is called padding so remember outside the view it's margin inside the view that's padding very simple way to remember that so what happens when you apply padding or a margin to a layout let's see the effect of that i have an image over here and i have another image over here you guys can see some difference between both of them the code for the left one is something like this and the code for the right one is something like this here i have a linear layout and i've applied a padding of 50 dp and here I have the same linear layout and I have applied a margin of 50 dp. Now remember, when you say padding of 50 dp, then what is going to happen is that whatever content this linear layout has is going to be pushed by 50 dp inside from all four sides. That is, the, if you see this image over here, this is the content, that is our text view is the content, right? So it's pushed by 50 dp from all four sides. And when you have a margin of 50 dp, what is going to happen is that the layout itself is going to create a 50 dp space around it. That's what margin works like. So here if you see this uh, skin color uh, structure on the rectangle over here on the screen, that is actually our linear layout. And when I say 50 dp, the linear layout itself creates a 50 dp uh, space around it, which is not used right. Now if you guys have been seeing the last two uh, slides carefully, you guys will notice something. Take a look at this. I have my hello world over here. There's a relative layout and I have a margin of 50 dp for my text view, which means my text view is saying that, hey, stay 50 dp away from me. That's what it says, right? But here, if you see on the right side, I have the same structure, which looks pretty same, but the code is completely different. Take a look. The linear layout has a padding of 50 dp. So in this case, it's the linear layout that is pushing the text view inside by 50 dp from all four sides because of the padding. And in this case, the text view itself is requesting that everybody stay away from it by 50 dp and that's what the layout margin does. But they look the same, right? So remember, an Android padding applied to the parent looks the same as the Android margin applied to the child in if the values are the same for both of them, right? And remember this one very importantly. Now what if you do both of them at the same time? Let's see what happens. Here I have some code over here. I just wanted to show you guys. I have a linear layout. I have a padding of 50 dp for the linear layout. And I have a margin of 50 dp. So in this case, the linear layout is like trying to push the text view 50 dp inside because of this padding from all four sides. And the text view also says that, hey, stay away 50 dp from me from all four sides. So let's actually see how that looks. This invisible rectangle, I have drawn this so that you guys can see the difference between the padding and the margin. These four arrows that you guys see over here it's actually the padding applied by your linear layout all right and then within this rectangle what you have is the next 50 dp4 arrows they are actually the margin which the text view has requested that everybody stay away from it so this is the combined effect of margin and padding when you apply both of them together and what happens when you do the thing the other way around take a look over here i have the code for this again here in the linear layout, I have a margin of 50 dp and the text view, I have a padding of 50 dp. So in this case, the linear layout is telling everybody that, hey, stay away 50 dp from me from all four sides. So that's why you see this uh, skin colored rectangle which you have over here. It's actually your linear layout. And when the text view, when you apply a padding of 50 dp, the text view is going to try to push its content, which is this text you see over here at the right string, hello world inside by 50 dp from all four sides and this is the combined effect the other way around so i hope you guys have understood something about how padding and margin works in android if you like what you saw 
please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts on our slide note page as well as our facebook page feel free to contact us if you need any help and i'll catch you guys in the upcoming bits thanks for watching stay tuned have a nice day